I'm going to show you guys a totally broken invincibility exploit in Atomic Heart. Now, you'll still have to not be get overwhelmed because you're not completely invincible, but it's basically invincibility in a way. So what we're going to, I'm going to try to do this. There's like a certain skill combo, and then there's an exploit you can use that'll make you basically invincible. So you're going to go to your upgrades, and there's two things, well, three things that you need ideally. There's, there's a minimum, and then there's a preferred. So it's like recommended settings versus preferred settings. Okay, so you go to character. And the first thing that you need is juggler. You have to have juggler for this exploit to work so you can heal with one hand. Then the other thing that you need is cell division. And what this does is it puts a heal over time on you whenever you use a medical capsule. And the combining these two things allows us to exploit the game. Now there's one other thing that you need. Just in general, you need shock. So ideally, you're gonna get the one that reduces the cooldown right there. And while you're at it, you go ahead and get any shock upgrades you want. But mainly, we just want to get the cooldown as low as we possibly can on shock. That's how we're going to be invincible. Okay, so from there, you really only need one med. But I'd recommend having more than one med just in case uh, something goes wrong and you accidentally mess this up. So I have two meds right now. What I can do is I can get into a fight with, say, this guy. Miss some HP. So you see I'm missing HP now. And nothing's happening. I'm just not regening HP. I'm whatever. Well, what I can do is I can press the heal button and then cast shock immediately. And it doesn't use the med capsule, but it gives me that heal over time that heals me to full HP. So I can just do that whenever I want in order to uh, get that heal over time and just get free healing forever. Now, once I hit full HP, it'll stop the effect because that perk, actually it won't stop the effect. Uh, I know sometimes the effect will stop though. I'm not really sure what causes it to stop exactly. But, uh, like, it's like now it finally stopped and it's not healed. I think maybe it's just a, how long until that effect ends. So I do this and now I'll start healing again. So basically all you got to do is like every 20 seconds or so in a fight, just remember to do that. And, uh, or just make it a habit to cast a med before casting shock, just in general. So just always do that before you do shock and you'll just always be healing an insane amount of HP every second. Now, this will let you tank a lot of damage. Like, you'll be able to take tons and tons of damage without dying, but you still got to be careful not to get totally overwhelmed. So you are still going to have to play the game. Like, you still got to move around and stuff. But generally speaking, if you're actually trying to play the game while doing this, you're basically completely invincible. So there you guys go. An invincibility exploit atomic heart that's absolutely busted and will make your game way, way easier. Also, if this video helped you or you like this video, check out the description of this video. There are lots of other helpful links for Atomic Heart. And also, if you want to help me, just check out the game that I'm making on Steam called Art Gallery Simulator. And just go wishlist. That would help me a lot. But there you guys go. The Invincibility Exploit and Atomic Heart. Super cool. And now you can basically beat the game more easily if you even want to use this exploit at all.